as Mr. Montgomery again, and we are, of course, doing another math lesson. What else are we doing? We're doing math. And we are on page 413. 413. If you're not on this page, you should know what to do by now. Pause the video. Make sure you're on the page in your robot turtle book. And then we're going to continue after you find that page and hit play, of course. So, if this is still playing, I'm guessing you have that page open and you are ready to get going. So, let me clear this up. And uh, I'm just going to start this off, guys, by saying I'm not a huge fan of this uh, method of adding two numbers together. So, I will, of course, teach you how to do this the way I feel is the easiest to understand it. But, just remember, if this ends up being very difficult for you. I'm not going to be super specific on any tests or quizzes saying you must use a number line to add two numbers together. And I, I, I just think that's a little insane. I'm not going to do that to you guys. Um, if you know how to add two numbers together and if you can do it in your head or use a 100 chart or use any other way that we've talk, talked about and learned, that is awesome, a-okay, and I totally approve, okay? But I will show you, of course, how to use this other method using a number line. And if you guys remember correctly, these are called open number lines because they're blank. We get to put the numbers in ourselves. So let's look at the first number sentence they want us to solve, which is this one right here. It says 43 plus 6. Zoom in just a little bit here. There we go. It's going to be a little bit easier to see. So when we have 43 plus 6, and if you look at what they did, they start with the number 43. Because not only is that the biggest number, it is the goofiest number because it doesn't end in a, in a fun, easy zero at all. It, and it's very large, okay? Because if we're working with adding two numbers here, we don't want to have to jump all the way from here and make a you know, hundred different jumps all the way down the number line. That's just going to drive us crazy. And we're going to lose our minds doing that. We want to make this as easy and quick as possible. Okay? So, since they are both kind of odd, goofy numbers, none of them ends in a zero in the ones place, right? Because the six is just a ones number. So, what we're going to do is we are going to make sure we pick the biggest of the two numbers to start. So, if we start with the biggest number, that means we are going to be jumping with the smaller number. So, it's less jumps. So what they want us to do is jump six times because we're starting at 43. Oh, I almost forgot. Since we are not adding a whole bunch of tens here, we're adding ones, we're just going to count on by ones. Okay, so we, next we would have 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Okay. So next we're going to jump six times because we're just adding six. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I stop. I land on the number 49. So that's our answer. Okay. So let's do the next one where we're going to have to completely do this on our own. They didn't give us a number to start with. We got to figure out which number is going to be the easiest to start with. So our next one is 5 plus 19. So which number do you think we should start with that would be the toughest to add? What is it going to be the, the, the tiny little 5 or the big 19? It's going to be that big 19. Because we know that they're both kind of odd numbers, right? They don't end in a fun, easy zero in the in the ones place. So in the, when we have a situation like this, we like to make sure we pick the biggest number to start with. That's right, the biggest number. So, which is 19. And when we look at our smaller number, we know that it only has a ones place. So that means we're going to be counting on by one. So when we make our number line... We're going to make a whole bunch of spaces. We're just going to count on by one. So 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, and the last one is 25. I know it's a little crooked, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect on an open number line. All right, and so now let's make our five jumps. One, two, three, four, and five. I stop. I landed on the number 24. So now we know that 19 plus five jumps is 24. All right, so let's do our last problem here before we move on. We have 10 plus 32. So which number do you think we should write down here to start with? Are we going to write our nice round 10 or our big, goofy, difficult 32? Point to, point to which number you think. Point, point at your screen real quick. Do you think we should write the 10 down and make 32 jumps? Or should we write the 32 and make one big 10 jump? I really hope you're pointing at the 32. Because that is the number I would start with. And then we can just count on by 10s after that. So if we count on by 10, right, we would have, let's see, 22, 32, 42... Remember, the tens place just gets bigger by one each time. And then we'd have 52. Now I'm going to stop right there. Okay. So we start at 32. And we just jump 10, right? So it's, remember, each one of these is plus 10 in between. Okay. So we're only adding one 10. So we make one jump, and we stop, and we land on 42. So now we know that 10 plus 32 is 42. But of course, guys, like I mentioned before, we already learned, like, what, two or three different ways of doing this? So if one of those ways works for you, you can always stick to that way later on, okay? I'm just showing you this method just in case it helps you out. So let's go ahead and turn to our next workbook page, page 414. All right, so here's page 414. And we see a little boy, of course, using number lines in two different ways because we can either count on by ones if we have a small number that's in just by itself in a ones place, or if we're adding tens, we're going to be jumping by tens. Okay, so we can always refer back to these pictures if we need to for just a little bit of help. Okay, and for example, for this first one, we have, you know what, oh, let me just erase this so we can just kind of walk through it. Okay, so with the 37 plus 30, what they did was they started with the 37. And since 30 is three tens, they made sure to make three spaces to jump. Okay, so we can kind of count on by 10 if we wanted to. All right, so 37. And then if we have 10 more, we have 47. And then 10 more than that is 57. And then 10 more after that is, okay. So remember uh, if, so for number 30, that's three tens, that's three big jumps. If we had the number 20, that's just two tens and two big jumps, okay? but we'll make sure we practice a couple of those. So let's try number two down here. So for number two, we have 26 and 50. So which number 
do you think we should start with at the beginning of this number line? The 26 or the 50? I would say the 26. All right. And now remember, 50 is 5 tens. So th and that's all I'm going to say right there. I'm going to let you guys try this one on your own. Try and uh, try to solve this one. And I'll give you guys a few moments. Okay, if you're not done, pause the video, take your time, and solve this problem. If you are done, let's go through it and see if we have the same answer. Okay, so for 26, and we're adding 50 to it. So that's 5 tens. So every time we jump, we're going to add 10. So it'll be a plus 10 here. And we can put another plus 10 here. Put another plus 10 over here. So one, two, three, four, and five. There's going to be another plus 10 and another plus 10. Okay. So we're going to add 10 every time we jump. So for 26, we jump over one more. 10 more than 26 is 36. Remember, only the tens place is going to get bigger each time. And then 10 more than 36 is... 46. 10 more than 46 is 56. 10 more than 56 is 66. And then 10 more than that is 76. So now we know that 26 plus 50 is 76. But of course, if you know the other little quick way where you just add the 2 and the 5 together, they get 7, bring the 6 on over, boom, 76. If, if you know how to do that, that's awesome, and you can still solve these problems without making a number line. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. In math, there is more than one way to do everything. But let's just do one more together. So let's go ahead and turn the page to 415, and we're just going to do the top one together, okay? All right, so for number 3 right here. It's a much smaller number line. Remember, you can always look back at the previous page if you need a little, little uh, refresher, okay, or a little help. So we're adding eleven plus eight. So I'm gonna add, put a number here. What number do you think we should start with? The eleven or the eight? Which one is big and goofy? And that's the number you're gonna write down here first to start with. And then next, you're going to think, does this 8, is it in the 1's place only? Or does it have a 10's place to go with it? And then that should help you out whether you're going to be jumping by 10's or by 1's. So I'll give you guys a moment. Go ahead and complete number 3 all by yourself. All right, if you're not done, pause the video, take your time. If you are done, let's go over this together. So let me zoom in actually on this one. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so 
what I would do is I'm going to start with the biggest, goofiest number I can uh, see out of these two. Between 11 and 8, I'm going to pick 11. And since I started with that one, now I have to look at 8 and think, is this number just in the 1's place? Or is there also a 10's place digit that would make me jump by 10's? It's just in the 1's place. So that means we're going to make 8 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And remember, guys, this doesn't have to be the prettiest thing in the world. It's okay. All right, so 1 more than 11 is 12. Because remember, we're just doing plus 1 after each, t after each jump. 1 more than 12 is 13. 1 more than 13 is 14. 1 more than 14 is 15. 1 more than 15 is 16. 1 more than 16 is 17. 1 more than 17 is 18. And then 1 more after that is 19. Okay, so 11 plus 8 is 19. And there's a few different ways we could uh, go about this number line. You can either write a whole bunch of numbers from 11 all the way to 20 if you wanted to, and then just make eight jumps. Or if you already have, since this is a much smaller set of two numbers, you can just use the number line that I sent home to you guys. Um, or you can add one eight times, or you know, make eight lines, since you know that we're adding eight. Just add one each time and fill in that number as you jump. Either way will work just fine. Use what works for you. So if you are not in my classroom, go ahead and stop the video here. Let your teacher know that the video is all done. If you are in my classroom, we are going to go to our independent work next. Okay. For our independent work, we are going to click on classwork. And right here, right away, you have 10-4, uh, quick check. Do that one first. There are four questions on there. If you get that done and you still have some time, go ahead down to the 10-4 extra practice. And then if you get that done too, you can then go on Pink Cat Games and play one of the new games that I put up there for you guys. I put up two new games all about adding tens and two-digit numbers, okay? So if you are confused about anything, you can always jump back onto the Google Meet and, of course, listen to how I'm explaining it to the other kids in the class. Uh, or if you're all good to go, I'm happy that this video helped, okay? So, I will see you guys next time, and I hope you have a great day. See you later.